but some of you have requested that you want, what is going through my head? Carol asked that, Jerry has asked that. What is going through my head when I perform? So I'll give you a really short answer for now, which is it used to be pre-pandemic, pre-COVID, when I did concerts, and I had recording engineer, I had photography, I had anything else going on technical. I always told people, do not tell me anything I need to remember an hour before I'm going to perform because I will not remember it. You could tell me, enter stage right. I, I just, like, nothing. I wouldn't, particularly anything technical, I wouldn't remember. And, boy, have things changed because everything is technical now. When Adam saw me setting up the lights in the room and the camera and the, doing the test and the Facebook Live test, now that he's like, God, you really do run a one-woman show of what you can see in the room. And... The first live at concert I did, March 28th, I went for a hike. I always do. I was getting out in nature. So usually it's a hike with Gina in the after, early afternoon. And I prayed. And I said, normally in the pre, my previous life, pre-pandemic, I had never had experience of combining my right and left brain and having that kind of pressure. And I just prayed and I turned it over to God universe, whatever you want to call it, and I said, I can handle the right brain, and you can handle the left, and tonight is the marriage of the two, and I know that this is taken care of. You've got me, and I don't need to worry about all the technical details. They're handled. I mean, I do need to worry about them ahead of time and prep. They're handled, and since then, I've gotten more and more comfortable with the technical end of it. And I also have to not let go, I have to let go of thinking about it while I'm performing. While I, in the last 24 hours, a lot's happened that you didn't know about with technical challenges, which is when I ended up back on Facebook Live. And I just kept asking myself, what can I, what is the simplest thing? What can I do to stay connected to my music and stay connected with my audience? I following with you and play on and the answer was obvious it was Facebook live it's what I'm experienced at I will break out and and get some new equipment and do crowdcasting it's a great platform I just wasn't ready for it yet and sometimes I overestimate what I can do in a short period of time and the things that go through on I do a I recorded myself it's for a class I taught online called winning the musician's mind game I did an audio Visualiza a guided visualization that's an audio track called, um, I'm blanking, but it's about how to, it's called Inspired Performance. So it's about a six minute, five, six minute um, guided visualization where I take myself through the aspect of sitting at the piano, going through this, turning this over, knowing that I'm just the vehicle for expressing this music. And that's my job that's what i love to do more than anything else in the world and so my job is playing from heart to heart my music sharing that with you that's what goes through my mind and then just letting go knowing i've done all the work even if i didn't practice that piece enough yesterday i've been practicing for 50 years 51 years to be exact it's i've done enough prep and it's just letting go of all that and letting the music speak and that's what i enjoy the most and having you experience that is is really icing on the cake now I will play the Godowski's arrangement, probably the hardest piece I've ever played for one or two hands. 